I'm still popping. Nope. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Uh, a few months back, I reviewed uh, a bunch of uh, redone game shows from ABC. It was called ABC Fun and Games. It was on Sunday nights. Uh, Celebrity Family Feud. That show's been on still. So that's like not a new one. But, uh, you know, $100,000 Pyramid and Match Game. Match Game was the one I was most excited by. Then they had another one to tell the truth. And I didn't see that one. But I did see it now, and I wanted to do a review of it. Um, yeah, I remember back when I watched it, it was about the contestants trying to fool the celebrity panel. This time, it's all about the celebrities trying to make jokes and lousy jokes at that. And every time they make a joke, they laugh like it's the funniest joke they ever heard. It's just like uh, the Bob and Tom show. Every single thing they say, they laugh their asses off. It gets really annoying after a while. I mean, I, they're trying to be funny, and almost everything they say is not funny. It's all about the contestants. It's, I mean, all about the celebrities. It's not has nothing to do with the contestants. They come on, you know, and they, uh, they ask them a few questions, and they decide who won, but it's, all the focus pretty much is on the celebrities. And then uh, Anthony Anderson, who I like Anthony Anderson. I remember he was a real bright spot in uh, Romeo Must Die and also the Urban Legends 2. And then he he really branched out. He was on The Shield, and that really opened up a bunch of doors for him on TV. And I think he's a great host, but damn, he laughs at everything. And his mother's on there, on there, and she's not funny. Well, she did a thing about drinking pee about the guy who went over. That was kind of funny. But that was about it. I mean, I feel bad because they had, like, uh, they had one of the... Uh, contestants panel they said it was about uh one of them was uh one of the people that survived that who was on that plane uh the miracle of the hudson i keep wanting to say moscow and hudson but that's the robin williams movie miracle on the hudson and uh they found that it was uh, one girl that he kind of looked like molly ringwald at the end of the show and then the guy's like well thanks for being on the show he didn't really ask her any real questions about what it was be, be like and how and that was a missed opportunity. And then the other two stayed for another round. And they said one was a member of Destiny's Child. And it seemed like the celebrities were more interested in that than uh, the Miracle on the Hudson. I mean, it just got so annoying. Uh, I I won't be watching this show again. I watched the tw two episodes and that was enough for me. I, I hate fake laughing at awful jokes. And also, uh, Jamie Kennedy was on the uh, show, the second one. And I thought Jamie Kennedy was okay in the screen movies and stuff. I remember he he was in a movie called Heckler a long time ago. And he was mad at the critics for saying that he was a awful actor. And, and uh, you know, he was doing the whole thing. But, boy, he came off as a real jerk on there. And he asked some of the most inappropriate questions to the people who, uh, on the Miracle on Hudson, who, uh, to the one lady that survived on that thing. I mean, it's just... And then it ends up there's a, like a leaderboard. It was all about the contestants because every time like uh, they fool the judges, they fool the celebrity panel, they get an amount of money. They don't even talk about that. Now, whoever picks the right thing, they have like a leaderboard and it's just for the celebrities. And whoever gets uh, uh, the least amount of points, they have to, uh, Anthony Anderson will put a tweet about them on Twitter and you said you and you said you can't delete this for 24 hours. And he encouraged everybody to re retweet it as much as possible, like an embarrassing thing he made up. Uh yeah, it's a real shame. It's it's awful. I, I hate it. I mean, the other ones I I grew up well on Game Show Network. I saw uh, the black and white one, and usually it was really interesting. It was like the humor came naturally. The humor on this show is way is way too forced. I mean, you know, is I mean the jokes they to told really bad. I mean, some of the jokes seemed forced on Match Game, but that was more of a. But I mean, it worked in the thing of the show. This one, you know, in the fifty show, they had a little bit of humor in it, but mostly it was about uh, the people on the panel. I mean, uh, people, you know, in their lives and stuff like that. And it was really interesting. This show, like, tries to condense and rush it and just focuses on the jokes and the celebrities, and that's it. It doesn't really care that much about the people that are trying to figure out who's telling the truth or not. And then the one I grew up with, uh, 
In the 70s and 80s, they had one uh, syndicated, like I think it was at 7 o'clock. On the weekends, uh, weekdays, it was Joe Garagiola hosted it. That's the one I remember. And that was still really interesting too. But boy, they I don't think I think they really screwed this one up. I don't, I don't like this one at all. I thought the Michael Strahan doing a hundred thousand dollar period wasn't that great because he wasn't that interested. But this is far worse because that it was still about the show. This one is about it, kind of about the show, but it also is about the ego of these celebrities and also forced humor. And it was is pretty uh pretty bad. So I give the Tell the Truth a 4 out of 10. And it's lucky you got that, you know. I, I won't be watching it again. I think it's a waste of time. But I wanted to thank Tony Town for uh, sending me a thumbnail. Because I was curious who he was, is. I still like Anthony Anderson. I think he's, but I mean, it's just, it's just, everything's so forced. I mean, if you're going to use humor, let the humor come naturally. You know, don't try to force a joke and lash your ass off. Just like Bob and Tom show. I'm sure people like Bob and Tom show, but I, I was, you know, I used to listen to it at work, and it was like, well, if we were up at something, they play it sometimes, and it's like, I kept saying, damn, is everything they said, does that, do they think everything they say is funny? I mean, they laugh their asses off every little thing they say. Not someone else says they say. Just like in Celebrity Prince, every, I mean, Celebrity uh, in, in To Tell the Truth. Everything they say they think is riotously funny, and it's not. Most of it's not. So There you have a very disappointed viewer for the Tell the Truth. I'm glad I finally saw it, and I won't be seeing it again. Unless they have, like, maybe a wrestlers or something like that, but I doubt it. So until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion.